again another beautiful day in god's kingdom so what do you bring to the place of battle when you come to fight well let's take a look at what is going on here and pick one or two things as we look at the book of 1 kings chapter 18 and let's read from verse 36 and here you have prophet elijah pitted against the prophets of baal and asherah and the bible says in verse 36 of 1 kings chapter 18 it says at the usual time for offering the evening sacrifice elijah the prophet walked up to the altar and prayed O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, prove today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. Prove that I have done all this at your command. O Lord, answer me. Answer me so these people will know that you, O Lord, are God and that you have brought them back to yourself. Let's stop there for the moment. You know, and what is it that we find? It's like Elijah comes to God and he begins to speak some specific things as he prays to God. One might look at this and say this is a very short prayer, but look at the things that he points out. First, he points out that God is the Lord God Almighty. Secondly, he points out that he is the God that is still alive today. He points out that he has a relationship with that God and that he is a servant of God. He points out again that he has done these things that he has done at the command of God. He has not done them outside of God's will. He has done them at God's command and he has done them for a purpose. He says so that God will bring these people back to himself. You know, and these are lessons that are important for us. When we come to God in the place of battle, what do we bring to that battlefield? We come to God with the understanding first that we have a relationship with God, you know, that we have a right to call on that God. Secondly, we come to God because we know that he is the God of the living. He is the God of all things. We know that that is who he is. We come on the basis of that and we come knowing that God is able to rescue us and deliver us from that situation that we find ourselves in and also we come to God knowing that the ultimate glory will belong to him and his purpose will be fulfilled you know even as we pray this year may the Lord guide us and lead us to pray may the Holy Spirit lead us and guide us to play right to pray right in the name of Jesus God bless you have a beautiful day.